the Blue Lagoon. This is what we've been here for a couple of days now, but we can't the leave this place. Yeah, Look the at water's it. too nice. It's really busy. That's the only downside. Um, but I don't know. Maybe because it's a Monday today, it won't be so crazy. We shall see what happens. Yeah, it was Saturday, Sunday, and it was full on. But, but I think it'll be busy all the time because it's summer. So yeah, we had a few boats come close to running into us. They just there's a lot of people here that don't know what they're doing. But in saying that, it's it's like the sailing capital of the world, isn't it? Really, yeah. by and we also haven't had our fenders out, so we really should put them up, but anyway. I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies, traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. I am making, for the first time, focaccia, and it looks bloody delicious even before it's going in the oven. I'll show you. Look at that bubble. So this has been sitting in our fridge for almost 48 hours. So it's not that hard to make, um, but it just needs a lot of resting time. So it's like a long process. But yeah, it's looking good so far. So fingers crossed it's quite nice. I can obviously perfect it as I practice with it. Um, so today I'm not gonna put anything on it but a little bit of sea salt on the top. Um, but obviously you can put like sun-dried tomatoes, olives, rosemary, all sorts of things. You can even make sweet ones as well. But we're just gonna eat it as a bread so we can have it with um, other things, make sandwiches, have toast. And I made this with everything we had in the pantry. So. Um, it was just dry yeast, water, flour, salt. Um, the only thing is it did need quite a bit of extra virgin olive oil, which is kind of expensive, but that's the only thing really. So, and, and yeah. Extra virgin olive oil's not really that bad for you, is it? It's good for you. It's good for you. Yeah. Looks delicious. So I just have to let it cool for a couple of minutes in the pan, then take it out, put it on the cooling rack, and we can slice it up and eat it. P.S. Let's hope it's not like a rock inside. Ready for the moment of truth? Yeah. Mm, looks pretty good. Yeah. Probably have some more holes in it. No, but... it's soft as. Oh, it looks pretty damn good. Apparently this is best eaten the same day. Or you can freeze it. And you can uh, um, reheat it in the oven. Does it smells good too. It's good. Maybe it could have been done with a bit longer underneath because it's quite soft, mm. like chewy. It's nice. nice though. I can perfect it over time. Comfy there, darling. Yeah. We're just about to uh, head over to some friends of ours that we met a couple of weeks ago at a bar. We met him at the worst time possible. We met him before a um, music festival and we probably caused him a bit of grief because we were pretty loud that night. I went to bed. So I'm surprised you didn't. I'm surprised we're still mates. <laughs> so they're a really nice family from Utah. Um, I don't know how they got into sailing because I swear Utah is like in the middle of middle of America. I have no idea. I know I've heard of the name, but I don't know what I don't it think is. it's near an ocean anyway, so it's pretty like game of them to go sailing, change their lifestyle. Just like us. It's gonna be pretty funny if you look it up on the map. Yeah, it's right next to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> we should look it up on the map now. Right, let's go. Let's go have some fun. Okay, they got a uh, little sea bob things going into the water, which I've never used before, so I might give it a go, but I'm kind of nervous, so we'll see. So Janae's taking one of these for a spin. Where's your turn? You haven't gone on one yet. Uh, no. Nope. Not yet? All right, go on the water.
What are you trying to do? You just don't weigh anything. So they can do whatever the heck, the heck they want on them. Are you trying to go off on your knees? Well, I'll just sit on <laughs> That was so much fun. How good's this place? All right, yeah, gonna, you coming? Laser out. Is it a laser, technically? No. What's it called? You, you can't offend them. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how you pronounce it. Tiwal? You gotta take the Tiwal out. Tiwal? <laughs> pronounce it properly, come on. I think the American accent is a little bit more accurate, but I'm not sure. <gasps> To all. <laughs> I'll just say everything weird if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Guys, we're not off to a good start. <laughs> all right, we're on. <laughs> How do I? This is weird. I've never had to duck you before. Put your... I'll just lay. How about I do that? I'll just lay. <laughs> Except I don't know how I'm going to swap sides. Oh, it goes. Woo! Ah! <laughs> Everyone done? Woo! <laughs> I didn't even want her. Yeah, we're driving. Um, you okay? I was yeah, so I should have mentioned that to you. All right, so, yeah. so can you tighten the sail up a little bit? You had a quick rebound though. You, you did knew. really well. <laughs> but don't worry, my dad has done that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know how to do this! <laughs> she thinks you're a, you don't know what you're doing, hon. What do you think about that? I don't he's know. Never, he's <laughs> never done it! <laughs> We're going okay though, aren't we? Well, if hey, you escapade. Go, almost flipping twice, <laughs> almost breaking up our rudder. <laughs> Bingo, bingo. Oh, you know the, you know what the rudder is. She's telling you. Yeah. Huh? yeah I'm getting <laughs> oh, there's going to be a bit more wind pick up. Here we go. Uh, we're actually going to head off from the Blue Lagoon today. We've definitely overstayed our welcome. We're going to actually, we're going to have to motor because the wind's coming this direction. We've got so many boats that are really close to us. So we're just going to have to motor a little bit out of this bay and then sail, unfortunately. But yeah, I really wanted to um, sail off anchor, but it's just going to be too difficult, too sketchy really. So hopefully tomorrow. All right, we're off sailing. Uh, we're on a close haul, so the sails are all in nice and tight. I could probably adjust this one a little bit. But yeah, we're, we're literally just going to this island over here, so it shouldn't take us too long at all. Nice and sunny, nice warm air. So we're out here eating our dinner in like the only shady spot on the boat. And the guy that was next to us has tried to pull his anchor up and Jason thinks maybe he's stuck around a rock or something. So he's like, oh, he's contemplating whether he should go and help him. But because he's got a cold at the moment, he can't dive down too low. So it might be too deep for him to even go to help him anyway. <clears throat> and I said to him, I'm pretty sure the guys are naked on there. <laughs> and then now he's come up to like, put anchor down or up or do whatever he's doing. And uh, <laughs> he's fully naked. <laughs> oh, so Jason's like, <laughs> so oh, that makes it hard, eh? <laughs> so 
So now I'm just gonna sit here and and just laugh while I watch Jason go over there. <laughs> well, I can't really film it because I don't want to point the camera over where he is, but uh, that's, that's the boat over there. Jason's going over. Oh, there's so many bees around. Get off my dinner. <laughs> oh God, it's so funny watching Jason talk to him and he's just standing there with this whole wang out. <laughs> it would be so awkward. Like, dude, go put some pants on, seriously. I'm like, is your anchor stuck? Is it stuck? Do you need hands? Like, and then he's like, no, 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 just waiting. They're swimming. Someone's swimming or something. Oh, okay. Oh, how was that? Like, why you talking to him? Are you trying not to oh, look? I didn't look at all. <laughs> Traumatized. Probably one of the nicest towns we've been to, like unexpected nice Just towns. a little town, yeah. There's a lot of action going on, people swimming. Yeah, we decided to come for a walk because we haven't been off the boat in like three days. So yeah, it's nice to get on some land. And it's nice and chill here, I like the vibe. My shoes of choice for a walk and always Jason's choice of shoes for a walk. This or bad fate. Yeah. Can we go for a ride? Yeah, sure, why not? They're so cool. That's got to be like the weirdest cloud I've ever seen. Kind of looks like a hand with fingers, but just like way too many of them. It's really cool. You know what that, you know what that means, don't you, hon? What? That's a sign. Is it? Yeah, someone's, someone's giving us a sign there. Oh. That, my friends, is what you call a lake. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And there's, like and there's our boat over there. We had a beautiful day here um, on the island of Salta. We went for a beautiful walk and did a bit of spear fishing with no luck. But yeah, we've got a storm brewing coming straight from Italy. It's heading, heading this way. So we're gonna wrap around the other side of the island, tie stern too. Um, just so we feel a little bit more protected. Yeah, you never know if it's gonna turn into nothing or if it's gonna be powerful, so. But yeah, we've we've actually started the motor now for the, for the first time in a while. We're gonna motor there because there's no wind and. Yeah, we just need to get there. So yeah, we'll get to it. Let's get going. What are you doing, hon? So hot, I'm going for a quick dip before we go. Storm, oh. storm alert and Janae's in oh holiday mode still. <laughs> it's so hot and muggy, like that's why we know there's a storm coming. Do you want to put the ladder up? Yeah. Yeah, we've got to get out of here. Look at that water. It's a cloudy day and it still looks unbelievable. So nice. <laughs> It's uh, crazy peaceful before the storm hits. Really, really nice. There's no wind at the moment, but I guarantee there's gonna be wind coming as soon as this hits. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's a different experience. I should get the rod out. The fish might be biting hunt. I should get the rod out. Why? I don't know. It's really flat, why would they be 
be biting. So, don't know. They oh. just might be. Okay, yeah, they might be every day. <laughs> <laughs> Get your rod out, babe. Oh. So we've got the bees, hairs, and lures here with a couple of rusty hooks. <laughs> Lovely. Hopefully, hopefully we catch something. Are they meant to be rusty that quickly or does Jason just not look after his stuff? I don't know. You don't rinse I, it. I wash it with fresh water every day. Every day? Every single day. Yeah, right. Nah, it's because I've left it out here for like the last three days. So this is my high speed, my high speed trawler. It's good for anything over six knots. That boat going. Fine, there's a lot of boats. A lot of small little speed boats coming along. I don't know if you can see them, but it's busy around here. Um, so what I like to do, I like to put the rod out about 70 or so meters and it doesn't work very well for me. So if anyone give me some tips. I was about to say, and should everyone take your advice or? <laughs> someone can give me some tips on what I'm doing wrong. Just, just let me know, that'd be very nice. I know what you're doing wrong. Do you want me to tell you? Ah, uh, not catching fish. No, you, you're fishing in the med. Number one mistake. No, well people catch fish. Yeah, with nets. How's, how's Paul and Opal's fish the other day? Like when we the other day, <laughs> like a month ago. Yeah. That's the other day to yeah. us, isn't it? That's like a once in a bloody lifetime. <laughs> it's gonna happen here. Yeah. Okay, so this storm isn't forecasted on any weather maps at all. So I've checked Google Weather. I've got an app called AccuWeather. Um, it's it looks like it's literally just brewing off the coast of Italy, and it's pretty big. Like we're about to get slammed by it in the next hour or so. So. We're gonna tie up stern two, um, obviously put a lot of chain out and feel very comfortable. But yeah, this this um, app is amazing. So it gives you the live. It's not an app, it's a website. Oh, it's they a website. Should, they should make an app. We'll put it in this episode anyway. But yeah, it's it's super helpful. It um, tells you the live strikes, like exactly like maybe like a one second delay. So. You know, you know which way it's heading. It's got the historical data. It's, yeah, it's a really good app. Woo! We're about halfway, if not a little bit closer to our spot. Uh, we put the head sail out for a little bit, but um, it's starting to get closer. The wind's picking up. We can hear the rumbles. So we decided to put the motor on again and just get there as quick as we can and tie off before kind of comes over the top of us because we don't want Jason jumping in the water and stuff to tie off if there's like a storm right over the top of us so they've still got day trippers um going out yeah that's just nuts people aren't bothered by it but you never know like it could just blow over and be nothing it might just be a little you know a bit of rain and whatever but it could turn into something so yeah definitely better safe than sorry This will be our first uh, anchoring stern to the rocks with our new Rockner anchor. So it'll be good tester. Um, we've done about three or four anchoring jobs, um, just free swinging in bays. Um, and it's been kind of nowhere we've had to put like a really big amount of chain out. Um, so when we tie stern two, we always aim to put out as much chain as we possibly can to give us good holding. So yeah. I guess we'll be doing that today if we have the room for it. Fingers crossed, all goes well. Something's just gushing down here. Hopefully, it's more protected inside here. She's blowing 20 knots now, so. Unless it kind of calms down as we get into this anchorage, it's going to be fun trying to tie off in 15, 20 knots of wind. But anyway, good practice. This is just over there tying off to a rock. So we actually tied this line first. Put over here and then we tied the second line off. And now he's readjusting this one, so. <laughs> Do 
check the chime and see. That's what the chime is. Oh, it's all right. It's like then, so. Yeah, been rumbling. It's like. Ah, uh, it's pretty straight. Beauty. Perfect. Now we just put the starter on. We're all tied off. Good to go. Nice and protected. We've got like pretty much no wind in here, which is nice. Yeah. What an absolute dag. <laughs> We're just sitting here and I don't know how you figured it out, how Jason figured it out, but He's like, babe, we're at the wrong anchorage. This isn't the one I was meant to go to and the anchoring's actually forbidden here, so... They look like a fitting image of each other. They're very similar. They both kind of dip in on the map. But I was thinking when we're coming in, like, oh, this doesn't go in as far as I thought it did. Uh, so anyway, we're going to move on. It's only four o'clock. We don't want to get fined or get in trouble. And this isn't even the main town, so... <laughs> so we're going to untie on our nice tie up job and move on. Sinead's going to do the stern lines for the first time. Fast as you can think to the cheap perfume Look at this face. So this is a bit of the stuff we had left over from when our guests were here. Yeah, we never ate the platter with everyone, so we had a bunch of platter foods left, so very lucky. Might as well get used up. Yeah, delish. And there's a cool little cocktail boat going past us. I think he literally makes the cocktails for you. That's the coolest idea ever. And the storm has finally come. 